All right, we're gonna try example two. Um, we are given a regular octagon, so I know that's gonna be eight sides, um, with a side length of six kilometers, and we are asked to find the length of the apothem, the area of the triangle, and the area of the regular octagon. So I'm just gonna kind of approximate the center like it's about there and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the triangles so these are all isosceles because the radius is the same length no matter what so again when we talk about the area of the isosceles triangles this whole triangle is our isosceles because those lengths are the same so we have one two three four five six seven eight we're always going to have the same number of triangles that we have of sides. So this is different than when we found triangles by connecting vertices. We're connecting these to the center. All right. So um, I'm going to pull out or I'm going to sketch one of our isosceles triangles over here. We know that that's six kilometers and we need to know this angle. So again, there's 360 degrees right here. If we divide that by the number of triangles, uh, we should get 45 degrees when we do that. And that's gonna be the angle at the top of the isosceles triangle. But we still have to break it down into that right triangle. So when we drop down the apothem, it's going to bisect that, it's gonna cut that in half. So I'm gonna re-sketch just the right triangle. So this is our isosceles, this is our right triangle. So if I just kind of sketch that over here, um, now we know that instead of six, this is three. Instead of 45, this is 45 divided by two, which is what, 22.5 degrees. We're looking for the apothem. And um, again, if you look at this, this is our hypotenuse over here. From this angle, this is our opposite side, and the apothem is our adjacent side. So again, I'm gonna use tangent. All right, so the tangent of 22.5, so the tangent of our angle, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And once you get to this point, these problems aren't that different. Um, we notice our variables on bottom, which means I don't want to multiply both sides by three because then I'll have a nine over here. But if I instead kind of set it up like a proportion, we said we can always switch anything diagonally in a proportion. So that becomes A over one, which is just A. And now it's equal to three divided by the tangent 22.5. All right, so we do need our calculator. Mine should already be in degrees from earlier. Three divided by tangent 22.5. We get 7.243 if we're rounding. So 7.243, and that's gonna be the length of our apothem and it's in kilometers, since these are our units on the problem. All right, so now we wanna find the area of the one isosceles, so just one of them. So again, I'm just kind of re-sketching since my picture got kind of blurred, or busy, I should say. Um, we know the base of the isosceles triangles, they're all six, and we just found the apothem, which is the height of the triangle, and that's 7.243. So if we use area of the triangle, it's base times height divided by two. And I do expect to see your work on these notes so that you know what you're doing. All right, so we get 21.728 because the nine rounds at seven up. So the area is about 21.728 
and that's going to be in kilometers squared. All right, so then because it's an octagon and there are eight triangles, we're going to multiply the area of one triangle by eight. So that times eight will give us this total area. So that's easy. 173.823. All right. Excellent. So I want you to try example three on your own, then watch the next video.